friends, welcome to the YouTube channel of Sibya Medical Center. We all talk about exercise when we talk of lifestyle. Today we will discuss about exercise. Exercise is essential. It is essential because lifestyle has changed. There was a time when human being for his bread and butter, he had to do hunting and when hunting meant exercise. Hence, he was forced to exercise and there were rare times when he had to rest. With changing times, the habits have changed. Previously, the activity which was there, first of all with the hunting, later on with the farming and now we sit on the table and we are domesticated. We are now leading a more sedentary life than we should. Previously, there was little time to rest. Today, there is little time to do exercise. Exercise is essential for us and we must do exercise daily without a break. Today's program is specifically for those patients and the general public who ask us what exercise we should do, how we should do it, how much we should do and when we should do. So we will try and answer all these questions and if there are still some questions left, you can always email me or you can send me a WhatsApp message and we'll try and reply to them in our future episodes. Exercise is essential. It is essential for our physical health. It is essential for our mental health. And exercise must be there. Exercise is rejuvenation. Exercise increases our oxygen level. Exercise makes us active. And exercise not only prevents disease, but when the disease sets in, it also helps reverse it. Many diseases like diabetes, blood pressure, heart disease, they are linked with sedentary lifestyle and hence we must change our lifestyle and have exercise as an integral part of it. So let us start. First question first, when should we exercise? There is no fixed time. Most prefer early in the morning or in the evening. The most important thing is, if it is extreme of weather, do not exercise. Do not exercise when it is extremely cold. In that case, do not do it early morning. You can delay it a bit. Do not exercise when it is extremely hot. Make your walk a bit earlier when it is summer. And the most important thing is, never, never, never walk after a heavy meal. We must remember that after meal, blood is diverted to our abdomen, that is the gastrointestinal system, to digest the food. And this diversion naturally decreases the blood flow to some other parts, and they are the heart and the brain. And after food, we tend to feel sleepy. And after food, if we exercise, if we already have a heart problem, then angina is more likely. Hence, never exercise after the meal. Next question is how much to exercise? Again, the golden rule is exercise within your comfort limit. This can keep increasing as we train the body. And hence, we keep, gradually we should keep increasing our duration of exercise and the strenuousness of the exercise. In this way, we will be training our lungs, we will be training our heart. And we will be improving their health. Exercises can be of different types like weight training, aerobics, stretch exercises and uh, they can also be classified as isometric and isotonic. Now how do we start exercise? When we start exercise we should have two to five minutes warm up. Now let us see the demonstration of the warm up. Warm up is essential usually around five minutes before doing the exercise. And after doing the exercise, again we should do the cool down exercises which are similar to the warm up ones. With this the body gets into the active mode, so we can do the exercise properly. It is very essential to do warm up exercises and gain cool down to have a healthy exercise regime. So let us start with the warm up exercise. First of all, it is the heel raising. We do this for some time. This will give some 
stretch effect to the legs. Next we come to the knee raising or leg raising. After doing this for a few minutes, then we come to soft jogging or you can say soft running on the spot. This will give a stretch effect to our muscles and our body will be ready for the exercise. So we are now ready and we go ahead with the rest of the exercises. Let's start with the neck. Standing or sitting in a comfortable position, neck straight, it is to be flexed, pop forward, back, left, right and rotate it. Now let us see the demonstration. First of all, let us go to the neck exercises. In the neck exercise, we stand straight, stand at ease and the first exercise is flexion of the neck forward, then back. Flex forward, extend back, then we come to the center position. Let us take a view of the neck exercise from the lateral side. Neck bend forward, flexion, then back, forward. When we do back and forward movement, we feel some stretch effect on the neck. And back to the center position. And we go to the next exercise, which is moving the neck laterally. Left, we try and touch the ear with the shoulder. The other side, again the first side. We do this for a few times and we come back to the central position. Neck exercise is rotation. Here we have to be very careful that we are rotating the neck properly. We bend forward, the chin touching the breastbone as much as possible. Then we rotate it towards one side and again towards the center. Then again, very good. And then we do it in the opposite direction. With this we come to the end of our neck exercises. Now the exercises for the ears. The ear will be stretched up, down, laterally and then palming of the ear. Let's see the demonstration. Hold the ear from the bottom, pull it down, relax, hold it from the top, pull it up, relax, hold it from the middle, pull it back and out and relax. This is done for a few times. Let us also see from the lateral side how it looks. Hold the ear from the bottom, pull it down, relax. Hold it from top, pull it up, relax and hold it from the middle, pull it back and out and relax. After this, I'll tell you another exercise which you may not have heard of. It is an exercise for the eardrums. We cup the ears with our palm and press it inwards, relax, again press it inwards. We will feel, we'll feel the effect of the pressure on the eardrums. This will move the eardrums a very small distance and give exercise to the ear. So these are the ear exercises. Repeat this exercise first for 5 times and gradually you can increase 10, 15 or 20 times. Exercise for the eyes. The eyes are moved in all the directions as much as possible and then relaxed by cupping them. Let us see the demonstration. First look forward, look up, look down, look up, look down, look up, look down, 
look forward look towards the left side forward right forward left forward right forward we also have exercise for the eyes in which the eyes move in a oblique manner look up and right down and left up and right down and left and now we move up and left right and down up and left right and down this is done 5 10 15 or 20 times after this we do some rotation exercises for the eyes look forward look down very good look down look left look up look right and down we repeat this in both directions again first five times later on we increase it to 10 15 and 20 times this will give exercise to the eyes the next exercise is actually relaxation for the eyes hath pal mat do theek first we rub our palms together we feel the warmth and then we cup our eyes with the palm we can feel the heat of the palm in the eyes this heat is basically far infrared the far infrared penetrates more into the body than the infrared and the other lights giving a soothing feeling and a healing effect on our tissues so this was the exercise for the eyes let's move to the shoulders the shoulder will be moved in different directions these are simple exercises which can be done even if a person is bedridden relaxed stand at ease move the shoulder up down up down up down we do it 5 10 15 or 20 times before we do the next exercise that is rotation of the shoulder we rotate it as much as possible we rotate it making as big a circle as possible up front down back up front down back and then in the opposite direction up back down forward up back down forward we come to the next exercise which is we place our hands on the shoulder and we rotate the elbow we make it as big a circle as possible rotating first in one direction and then back in the opposite direction start with 5 times a day it is it to 10 15 or 20 this is also very good for those patients who are suffering from cervical spondylitis let's take a break we'll continue after that जो दिल के रोगी बाईपास सर्जरी स्टैंड या एंजियोप्लास्टी के योग्य नहीं बाईपास फेल हो गया हो या करवाना नहीं चाहते उनके लिए एफडीए अमेरिका प्रमाणित ईसीपी और आर्टीरियल डिजीज क्लिनिक लंदन तकनीक अनुसार एसीटी कीलेशन थेरेपी उपलब्ध है इस इलाज प्रणाली द्वारा दिल के दर्द तथा एंजाइना से राहत मिलती है these are basically stretch exercises which give a stretch effect to all the muscles in the body these are very good and everyone should do them we stand straight relaxed feet slightly apart arms on the side rotate in one direction as much as you can back opposite direction as much as you can back make sure the arms are straight again move on one direction 
back. The movement should be from trunk upwards. Lower part below the belt should not be moving. Next we come to the arm circle. Starting position is standing straight. Feet pointing forward slightly apart. One arm extending straight forward up and the other back. Back, swing it down. Very good. This is how the stretch exercise, the circling effect of the arm is there. Do this for five times, increase it to 10, 15 and 20. And the end we come back to the starting position. Now we come to the next exercise, which is side stretch or side bend. Stand straight, feet apart. Move one arm up from the side, bending your trunk all the way. Wait for some time, back, arm down, in the other direction, bend from trunk upward, back. Repeat this a few times. 5, 10, 15 or 20 times. You feel the stretch effect on the muscles. This was the side stretch or side bend. We come back to the normal position for the next exercise. Next we come to the forward bend. We can see this better from the side. Stand erect with one arm, elbow bend, and the other straight. Bend forward, front track upward, back. Now change the arm, bend the other arm, bend forward. When you bend, you'll feel the muscle pull, every time hold it for a few seconds and back, return to the start position and keep repeating this 5, 10, 15 or 20 times. Now we come to the next exercise which is the thigh stretch. Stand straight, feet pointing forward, bend the one knee, hold it with the hand and pull it up to touch your buttocks, down, repeat it with the other side, bend the knee, hold the ankle, pull it forward. Keep repeating this 5, 10, 15 or 20 times. For those who find it difficult, they can place one arm on the wall and do it. Keep one, hold one arm, place, place one arm on the, place one arm on the wall and repeat it. Place one arm on the wall Bend the leg, hold the ankle and stretch. We come back to the neutral position for our next exercise, the calf stretch. We will see this from the side so we can view it better. Stand straight, one leg forward. Slightly bend the knee, keep the other leg straight, hand on the knee, bend forward, lean forward as much as possible, you will feel the stretch on the calf muscle, remain there for a few seconds and back, do this a few times and then we do for the other leg, leg forward, knee bend, hand on the knees or lower part of the thigh, lean forward till you feel the stretch. 
on the cuff and back. The rest of the exercises you are going to be done on the mat. Sit down, hold the ankles, push the knees down and bend forward as much as possible. Remain there for some time and back. Repeat, bend forward, remain some time and back. Now let us see this from the side. Sit straight, then hold your ankles and bend forward, straight, back. Bend forward, back, bend forward, remain some time, you will feel the stretch effect and back. We repeat this initially 5 times, then increase it 10, 15, 20 times. Now we come to the back to the position. Now we come back to the resting position for the next exercise. For this we have to lie down. Lie flat, back on the floor, legs straight. Bend one knee, hold it with both the hands and pull it towards your chest. Keeping the ankle down and keep it for some time. Then repeat this with the other leg. Bend the knee, hold, pull, feel the stretch effect, keep for some time and back. Do this 5, 10, 15 or 20 times. This is very good, it is good for the back, it is good for the rest of the body, but if this increases the back pain of anyone, then he should avoid it. If you have any back problems, then you must take the opinion of your doctor before going ahead with these exercises. Remember, all the exercises should be guided by the doctor or the physiotherapist as far as possible. Now we come to the next exercise, lying flat, bend the knees and gradually lift your back up. Bend your back as much as possible, hold for some time and then back. This can be done either with the arms stretched or it can be done with the hands behind the neck. Repeat it a few times, it is very good for the abdomen. Initially some may find it difficult, but as we keep on repeating it, as we keep repeating it, it will help the back, it will help the abdomen, it will help getting into better shape. Now we come to the next exercise. The next exercise is again on the mat, first lie on the mat, then sit up, hands behind for support and rotate the ankles, rotate the feet from the ankle, first in one direction and then in the other direction. Do this for 5, 10, 15 or 20 times, in this you can also add other movements of the ankle like forward, backward movement of the feet, left, right, these can also be done. They are very good for the feet. These are exercises which very few of us do. We mainly look after the main parts of the body but things like the ankle, the ears, 
the eyes to be normally messed out and all these should be done for a healthy life, for a healthy living. With this we have come to the end of our exercise program. Before we finish it is good to relax the body. Lie on the mat, lie flat, feet slightly apart, arms on the side. We will come to relaxation one by one. Close your eyes, visualize the rest of your body relaxing, relax the feet, visualize the relaxation, relax the calf, the legs part below the knee, relax it, be relaxed, relax the thighs, you will feel comfortable. As we go up, relax the buttocks, feel the relaxation in your body, relax the back, feel the abdomen relaxing, feel your chest relaxing, relax your hands, relax your arms, relax your neck, Relax your face, relax your eyes, feel relaxation in your ears, now your whole body is relaxing, take deep breaths, slow deep breaths, slowly breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Do this for four to five minutes and you'll feel completely relaxed. With this, we finish our exercise regimen and you sit up and stand relaxed and go ahead with your daily life routine. Let us give a clap for Rupendra Sandhu who has demonstrated so well. Thank you Rupendra, thank you very much. Thank you. We hope you have liked the session. If you have any difficulty, you can WhatsApp us or you can email us. We also have a free gift for you. We have a small booklet which contains all that we have told you. It is a step-by-step -step exercise guidelines for you which we specially give to our heart patients. You can WhatsApp us or email us for a digital copy of this which will be sent to you free of cost. It will cost you nothing and we have a pleasure to share it with you for a better health of everyone in the country. Have a nice day. I hope you will take the exercises seriously. Be healthy, be smart and take care of yourself. We hope you will follow the instructions and you will also subscribe to our channel and share it with others. Thank you. Thank you once again.